Hi everyone and welcome to Math Sucks. This video is going to help you pass algebra. In this video we're going to go over the continuously compounding interest formula. First by looking at each part of the formula, solving an example, and then we're going to try some practice questions at the end on your own. So a continuous compounding interest. So first of all let's just like talk about what this even means. What, what are we actually finding? So let's say we have $500 we want to invest it. What if we compounded interest one time a year? So let's say we have put $500 in the bank and then every year we're going to earn money on our principal. So on that $500, let's say we earn 5% once a year. Now what if we earn 5% twice a year? So what if they compounded interest two times a year? What if they compounded interest one time every day throughout the year? So what if they compounded interest 365 days, 365 times throughout the year? And we can make this even smaller and smaller. We can make this, these intervals smaller and smaller, compounding interest now every second of the day. So if we compounded interest every second of the day within a year, we have 86,400 seconds of our principal being compounded. So, I mean, that sounds like an amazing deal, but I've never actually seen a bank that does this. And, but, this is, but that's what this formula represents. We're compounding interest when we're doing it an infinite number of times, basically. So that's kind of what we'll, we're going to get into today. So even though this isn't really useful in the real world of finance and real world of money, this is kind of like a cool, interesting, theoretical thing to look at. So let's just start looking at the formula now. So we have, so our formula is A equals P times E raised to the RT. So we're just going to look at what each of these represents. So A is just going to be like the amount that you earn after so many years. P is the principal, that original amount that you start with. E, the, it's a mathematical constant in mathematics. We can find it easily on our calculator, so don't worry too much about that. R is just the interest rate and T is for time, so in years, um, usually in years. So this is the formula we're going to be working with today. So let's just look at our example. So already invested $500 into an account that has an interest rate of 3% compounded continuously. How much will you have earned after three years? So first let's just write out our formula A equals P times E raised to the RT. And now let's, let's start filling things in. So we know, we know that P is our principal. So P is our principal. It is $500. That's the amount of, num of money that we start with. E is just E. That's going to remain the same. R is the interest rate, which is given to us, which is 3%. So it's, it gives us in percent, but let's just make that a decimal here. So that's 0.03. And then T, which is equal to time, is three years. So now let's just plug in all our values and and plug this into our calculator. So we have A equals P 500 times E raised to the R 0.03 to the T 3. So let's just do this one step at a time, plugging this into our calculator. So I'm going to clear this. And then to get E, I just go to second E by that division sign on my calculator and then raise to the 0 0.03 times three. This will give us this kind of crazy looking decimal. And then we're just gonna multiply that times 500, our principal. And this will give us 547.087. So let's just put, you know, round this up and make this into dollars and cents. We get $547.09. So if we were to compound $500 continuously for three years at the rate of 3%, we would at the end of the three years have $547.09. And that is our answer. If you're looking for more, check out the practice questions right here. The answers are up on the blog and in the description below. And if you're looking to make math suck just a little bit less, subscribe to my YouTube channel. I post new math videos every week. And if this video helped you, please give it a like and subscribe. Happy calculating. Need more practice? Check out mathsucks.org for more questions. Link below. Also, don't forget to subscribe. Happy calculating.